Two months ago I started learning at the Godot game engine. I think this video can be roughly split into three sections. What I did, what I learned, and what the future holds. After playing around with some tutorials I decided I was ready to make a full project. The only problem was I didn't know what to make, so instead of making a concrete action plan I drew a thing in GIMP, gave it movement mechanics, and told myself I'll figure out minor details like gameplay another day. So a few weeks went by, and I still didn't have that gameplay thing figured out. I just told myself I'd throw in some enemies along some corridors and a boss at the end. There, that's a level. Do that three more times and that's basically a game. Well, maybe, but the truth is the idea wasn't exciting to me anymore. Whilst that might be a game, it didn't really sound like a game I wanted to make. So was that it? Was this the end? Well, I didn't want it to be. I tend to have a problem with not finishing the things I start, and I was at the point where I prefer to finish a bad thing than leave a good thing hanging. So I decided to make it an arena game where enemies spawn in around you and they become more dangerous as you progress. I already had a sword, a big axe, a bow and a shield in the game, so the only thing I really needed was spawning in some sort of progression system. So like the focused developer that I am, I go right into art. Yeah, I get distracted easily. Right now the game has two enemy types, an archer and a blob that follows you around. It also has two functioning upgrades which activates on a set timer after you survive for a certain amount of time. Will I ever finish it? Who knows. Even though I'm not getting a commercially successful game out of this, I learned a lot about Godot. Throughout the project I rarely had to consult tutorials and mainly relied on documentation and people asking questions on forums or Reddit. To me, that's the point where I feel comfortable with a new software and where I wanted to be when I started two months ago. I have a background in Python so GD script wasn't difficult to pick up, but I never coded in an engine before so getting used to the node structure was a lot. Especially understanding how the nodes relate to each other and making sure specific nodes had access to information from other nodes was a source of much stress. After trying my hand at game development and consuming an unreasonable amount of indie dev content over the past year, I noticed specific areas of game dev. The one I wanted to develop two months ago was the technical side, and whilst I'm by no means perfect at it, I got to the point where I can make a lot of cool things without help. But now I've progressed to the next stage, one that is maybe even scarier than coding, game design. Or rather naively fall, I've been playing games all my life, I bet I can make something pretty fun. Well I can't. Not only can I not make something fun, I don't even know how to make something without getting bored of it a month in. But I saw this coming, and it's one of the reasons I decided to go for a game engine. More specifically a game engine which is pretty easy to pick up. I noticed a lot of indie dev content on YouTube consists of people performing very impressive technical feats with C++ code I can't even begin to understand. But I only have so much time on my hands. And I knew that if I spent it all on learning computer science, I wouldn't have the time to dedicate to other aspects of indie game development. Game design, art, music, marketing. The truth is I want this to be a commercial project, and that requires me to do a lot of things pretty well. So sinking all my time into memory management means that 1. I'll quit, and 2. Before I quit, I'll never get around to doing what I want to do, making games. I'm not too sure. I have another project I'm working on with an artist friend of mine that I'd like to finish. I also think working on one project at a time doesn't suit my workflow well. Me getting easily bored means I benefit from being able to alternate my attention between projects. I've been wanting to join a game jam for a while now but my schedule keeps clashing with the ones I find interesting. What you can expect from this channel are videos similar to this one where I update you on my game development. This will probably include some long term projects of mine, but also maybe just videos about some specific mechanics or game related things like art or sound design. So that's where I'm at right now. Thanks for listening.